to our practice assignment series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about PA number nine, which is the shelf bracket. Um, so let's look at our question for today. Uh, what is the total area of the shape? So this one, unlike last week, uh, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Click the inside of the shape to get your area. Um, and we'll talk about that when we get there a little bit further. Let's take a look at our tools we need. Center point circle, tangent, dimension, line, and trim. So pretty similar to last week uh, in terms of tools. Remember, we're leveling up each time we go. Um, so let's come up with a game plan. So if we look at this whole shape, um, I'm zoom in a little bit more. There we go. I want to uh, start in this corner right here. Uh, and then we're going to move our way up. So I'm going to go up two inches, over one inch, down a half, over five, up a half, over one, down 0.75. And then I'm going to show you how to do the rest of that geometry. So let's uh, switch over to Onshape. And let's start with a sketch. So this one, I'm going to start on the front plane. Shift and S to start that sketch. N to normalize and P to hide those planes. Uh, like I said, let's start with a line off the origin going up. And here we said we wanted to go two inches. So we'll type two, press enter, we'll pop out to the side, go one, enter, I come down, 0.5, go over five, and I'm gonna come over here and touch this corner and track over to automatically add that vertical constraint. And now I know it's human nature to want to press uh, enter with that text box, but that's going to actually mess up our drawing. So I'm going to click here. Now I'm going to go uh, press one to the right. I'm going to come down 0.75. And at this point, this is where you're just going to draw a line off into space. Um, and we'll add some dimensions here in a second. And then same thing over here, we're going to go back to my origin and draw a line angled, just kind of off into space to where we can see something similar to this. Okay. So now, uh, one of the tools I forgot to add on there was the, uh, the fillet tool. You will need a fillet tool to round those corners. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. So. Shift F on the keyboard. I'm going to click these two corners right here. And that needs to be a fillet of 0.5, a radius of 0.5. So we'll double click here, make that 0.5, press enter, and you'll see that these uh, corners are now rounded. So I'm going to move these measurements out of the way because we got a little too much going on here. Now, I know sometimes my students like to delete those, and that is not what we want to do. Okay. So, our next um, thing we're going to do is I want to draw a construction line from this point, the center of my fillet, all the way down, and just have it go straight vertical down. So we're gonna go here, line from this point, Q, turn it into a construction line. And I'm just gonna go straight down. Not touching any other line, just making sure it stays vertical. I don't need to give it a dimension. Um, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a circle. Um, if we switch back here to our drawing, you'll see we have a circle with a radius of one. Well, if we have a radius of one, that means we have a diameter of two. So I will go in here and zoom back in right here. I need a circle on this line, okay? That has a diameter of two. And you'll see, you know you did it right. If you can grab that circle, and kind of move it around. I can try to go left and right and it's not going to allow me to because it's uh, coinciding with that line. It, it 
coincides with this vertical line, and it has to say that center point has to stay on that line. Okay. But then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it, hey, I want you to be have a tangential relationship or tangent, so T, with this line down here. Okay. Then I'm going to press escape. And I'm going to give this angle, or give that dimension, give that line an angle measurement. So I'm going to click here, click this line and this line. And I'm going to drag out here because we need that to be 35. And order of operations, I mean, I could have done these angles first. I'm going to come jump over here and do this one too. This one needs to be 75. So here and here. 75 degrees okay now this is where things get kind of interesting so i'm going to come in with my trim or m and i'm going to get rid of this line down here that was hanging off i could delete this i could delete this but i need this for now so i'm going to throw another line up here so we look back at our drawing we did this circle has a radius of one, and we also have another one over here with a radius of one, but we need to add that. So what we need to do, is draw like we did before, draw a circle, but instead of being aligned to a line, this time we're just gonna draw it off into a space. Diameter of two, T for tangent. I need the tangent to this line here and to this line, or to this circle over here. Now I can start coming in with my trim, letter M on your keyboard, and I can start trimming up what I don't need. Now, one of the problems you might run into, you see when I'm using that trim tool, it wants to delete that whole circle. And the reason is, is if we zoom in really closely, it looks like it's touching, but it's not actually connected all the way. So another little bonus trick I can show you, is if you press the letter X on your keyboard, that stands for extend, you click that line and it'll turn green. Now I can uh, trim it down a little bit like this, but I can also extend and then tell it to touch. And you'll see once I do, I get a full grade in polygon. So now I'm gonna delete that right there. And again, our question is, what is the total area of the shape? So I'm gonna change some geometry. Uh, let's make this three. Let's make this three. Let's make this three. And let's make these two. And you will see the shape is still pretty similar. However, what's changed now is the area because we made it bigger. So I would select here and down here at the bottom, I get an area of 23.974, which again is the wrong answer. So if you're typing this into your tests or on your worksheet or however your teachers decide to put that answer in, remember this is the wrong answer, but this is how you draw that shape. And that's what we're looking for here with this drawing. So um, remember order of operations. I know sometimes some people run into some issues. Let me back this up. go um some of my students i've seen run into issues with this uh the fillet sometimes they try to do this as like a rectangle and then they come in and trim the top there's no wrong way to do it as long as you still end up with the same geometry so go ahead and let me know down in the comments if there's a specific way you did this that differs from how i did it there's not very many uh areas of symmetry on here i mean i guess you could fold this this part of the circle over this part but at that point you're already drawing a circle um, let me know what works for you. Do you like doing the angles first? Do you like drawing square geometry and then rounding everything over? That's typically the way I do. Um, but let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys next week. Take care.